Test, 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 test. Good Monday morning, everyone. I hope your week's off to a wonderful start. I know it's always kind of hard to go back to work after a holiday break, but I think we can do this, don't you? <laughs> Look at our high temperature for yesterday. 59 degrees occurred earlier in the morning, about 820. Temperatures kind of got cooler as we got went through the day. Bottoming out at 45 by around midnight. A far cry from our record highs of 73 and 17. Got about a quarter of an inch of rain yesterday, which takes us to just a little over two and a half inches for the month. Highest wind gust, 39 miles per hour from the west. That was a stiff breeze. We had some strong gusts out there yesterday. Normals for today, 52, 33. Looking at the daily weather map for today, pretty quiet here in the southeast, man. That's going to change by tomorrow, though. I hope everybody enjoys the quiet weather today. These little funnel boundaries kind of drifting around are going to get very active tomorrow. Then we look and see all kinds of snow flying across portions of the west. All that energy will combine with energy from the gulf to create a very busy day tomorrow for meteorologists across portions of the south. Looking at our five-day forecast, just a 20% chance. I have had to update our forecast for today just a little bit. You know, I mentioned last night that the clouds are going to be pesky to leave. They're also going to be dropping a couple of drizzly drops and raindrops and whatnot. Nothing, no big deal. We're not going to get much of accumulation of rainfall from this, but just enough to be kind of pesky. But I think those clouds are going to hold off through the afternoon. So it may be later in the afternoon before we see sunshine, but we'll hope for sunshine sooner, right? Partly cloudy tonight, lows in the mid to upper 30s. And then tomorrow, the winds pick up. The clouds begin to increase. A big storm system begins to um, wind up over the lower Mississippi River Valley. And then all of that will push our way by Tuesday night. 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those storms could be strong. Some of the rainfall could be heavy. The same is true for Wednesday morning. Wednesday will be a windy day. That's another update that I've had to make. The winds will continue into Wednesday as it looks right now, although they will be switching from the north, and that will be a noticeable change. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s in the morning and then falling as we get into the afternoon and evening, all the way down to 23 by Wednesday night. Thursday, temperatures do little to recover, only up into the low 40s. But then by Friday, we're up in the low 50s. Storm Prediction Center has upgraded portions of northern Mississippi and around the Memphis area to the moderate risk for severe thunderstorms for Tuesday. So looking like a regional tornado outbreak for that region. Anybody you see shaded in the red, orange, or yellow, you know, if you have anyone living in those areas, that's from Nashville westward. And then anywhere down around Memphis, um, Tupelo, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, Shreveport, Louisiana, just east of Little Rock, Arkansas. I mean, that whole area, long track, devastating tornadoes are possible. We'll hope that doesn't happen, but my goodness, those long track tornadoes can be can be a rough thing to deal with. If you'll notice, though, that the whole convective area, the whole outlined area is pointed like sharply northeast. That's because a lot of the upper level energy is going to ride northeast and away from our area, and that will help storms weaken as they move onto the Cumberland Plateau. Nevertheless, the Storm Prediction Center has upgraded our area to a marginal risk, which is the lowest of the severe weather risk categories which just means what I've been saying all along. It's something we'll just have to keep an eye on. On this day in 1921, totally different story. New England was in the middle of a four-day ice storm. Now, those of you remember our ice storm back a few years ago, and that thing was not a four-day event. I can imagine that thing being drug out for four days. Ice accumulated in New England of three inches thick in some places, which is just absolutely phenomenal. Couple that with winds up to 40 plus miles per hour, and man, what a storm. It's the reason why we're still talking about it all the way up here in 2022. <laughs> so, anyway, so you folks have a wonderful day and keep looking up, and I'll keep you posted on this severe weather event that will be unfolding for the lower Mississippi River Valley tomorrow. We will be tracking those as they move east. Again, they are expected to weaken as they move closer to the plateau, but I will always keep an eye on things and keep you updated. You all have a wonderful day.